Hello, my name is Frank Jimenez and welcome to another Six Wind demo. In this demo, we'll show Six Wind Virtual Accelerator Boost F5's Big IPVE performance by 5x, showing that performance can be maintained in NFV environments. The solution also scales as bandwidth requirements grow from 10 giggy to 40 giggy. The demo testbed consists of four compute nodes. One of the compute nodes has Virtual Accelerator installed, along with the version of Big IP Virtual Edition. A second node also has a Big IP Virtual Edition installed, but without Virtual Accelerator. In addition, we have a client transmitting data and a server receiving data. Here you see the F5 IP Virtual Edition without Virtual Accelerator, running in an OpenStack environment. The performance is only one gig due to Linux performance bottlenecks in the hypervisor. Here you see the F5 Big IP Virtual Edition with Virtual Accelerator running in an OpenStack environment. The performance is now 5x as Virtual Accelerator eliminates the performance bottlenecks in the hypervisor. Here we dedicate only one core to Virtual Accelerator to boost the performance freeing up all the additional cores to run VNFs. This is especially important for NFV use cases involving service chaining and customers that want more efficiency out of their systems. That's enough PowerPoint. Let's go on to the demo. Before executing the demo, we'll show you the different VMs that are used for the demo. Here we're showing the OpenStack dashboard and looking at all the instances that we're going to use. Down below you see the F5 Big IP Virtual Edition. It's a version 12 machine and this particular one is running on the compute node with Virtual Accelerator. This other F5 Big IP VE, uh, which is also version 12, is running on a compute node without Virtual Accelerator. The traffic generator or the transmitting VM is represented by this particular uh, VM or instance. We call it VM1 standard. And the server is represented by VM2 Accelerated 11. Uh, we're using the application RIPERF3 to run the demo. So let's go ahead and run it. Come over here. And we're at the console of the VM1 standard machine. You can see that we've already run it a couple of times. So we'll run it and we'll point it to the virtual IP address 1.0.0.7. The address associated with the big IP v12 standard. It is not accelerated. This test will run for about 10 seconds and you can see that the data data rate is below 1 gigabit. The overall data rate is about 825 megabits per second. Now the second test will run it and this time we'll use the virtual IP server address of 1.0.0.6. This particular address is associated with the big VIPVE edition that's uh, running on the compute node that has virtual accelerator. So go ahead and execute and right away you see the difference in throughput. So the average throughput through this particular uh, big IP was 4.65 gigabits per second. So you can see that you roughly get a five times boost in performance when running big IP VE with virtual accelerator in a virtual environment. We encourage you to test drive your VNF and see how you can get similar benefits from 6Win Virtual Accelerator to enable the transition to NFV. Contact us today to schedule your test drive.